As many of you are start to plan your summer vacations, we are here to help. How? We're beginning this hour with an exclusive interview with Airbnb CEO. His name is Brian Chesky. He's a badass in this business. Airbnb says it expects more than 300 million guest arrivals at its properties this year. 300 million? 300 wow. million. Say it again, Nate. That's right. Wow. 300 million. The company is making dozens of changes to the platform to address some of its users' biggest concerns over hidden fees, security, and prices. Brian Chesky is Airbnb CEO and the co-finder. Co-finder. <laughs> also pronounced co-founder. Hey, Brian, it's really good to well, have you here. Thank you for having me, Gail. No, we're glad that yeah. you're here. Because this is the thing. How many people, how many CEOs say, I want the customers to speak, <coughs> I want to hear your complaints, and then they listen? How did? They, what, what exactly <coughs> did you do? You well, encourage people to complain. Yeah, I mean, we looked through millions of customer service calls. I spend probably too much time on social media looking at thousands of social media posts. We talk to hundreds of thousands of guest hosts around the world. And we ask them, what annoys you about Airbnb? What can we fix? And I always wished CE more CEOs did this. Uh -huh. And we went down all the feedback, we storyboarded the end-to-end -end experience, and we mapped the biggest complaints based on severity, frequency. And today, what we've announced is over 50 improvements based on feedback directly wow. from the community. Wow. Basically, more transparent prices, discount tools for people to have better stays, fewer tasks when you leave your Airbnb, faster customer service. Ultimately, we want people to have amazing vacations, obviously. Uh -huh. And that means listening to customers and improving based on what they tell you. You're Why also did you do that? <laughs> was it painful to hear people could say to you, you know, you could do this better, Brian Chesky? Was that painful for you? It's a little bit. But, like, as long as you remember that the feedback ultimately is constructive, yeah. the worst thing is that people don't care. Mm -hmm. The worst thing is people don't care enough to tell you because they want to use a different service. So the more they complain, I like to tell people that's because they deeply are passionate about travel. They want to have great experiences. They like the brand, and we ought to live up to that. Yeah. All right, you also launched something called Airbnb Room. Yes. Tell me about that. Well, Airbnb actually started as a way to stay in a room in someone's house. I mean, it started one week, and I couldn't afford to pay rent. My roommate, all the hotels are sold out. We flooded these air beds. We called it Air Bed and Breakfast. Well, 15 years later, we're going back to the roots of the company because right now, now, as you know, people are looking to save money. And so instead of booking a whole home, you can book a room in someone's house. The average price per night was only $67 a night. It's a great way to have a local experience. And here's the key thing. You can virtually get to know the people before you book. Okay. You can read their profiles. That's important. You can see, like, there's going to be a lock on the door. You're going to have a private bathroom. Is there going to be a woman in the house? Is there going to yeah. be a man in the house? And you can decide it. You, just, yes. you can pick who you stay with. And I think this is going to be great for this travel season. You actually had people, last time you were here, you told us you were going to have people come stay yeah. at a room in your house. Yeah. Were you home? I was home. Was so in November, I announced that I'm going to put my bedroom on Airbnb, my guest room. Yeah. I've had three sets of guests. That One came from Brazil. One came from the Midwest. One was more local. And we did this great experience. I stayed with me and my golden retriever. I made them <laughs> Chesky's chips, these chocolate cookies I make. They've been in the family <laughs> recipe since I got off Google. And it's been really fun, yeah. <laughs> You've been here twice and haven't bring, bring us any cookies. No cookies. Zero cookies. Oh Next time. Well, okay. See, now, now you got to bring me back on. All right. Um, next. Last time you were here, you also talked about how you guys were navigating over the next few months and, yeah. and how you were going to put your foot on the pedal. Um, you weren't going to have any layoffs as no. we saw them around the country with a lot of corporate companies. Yeah. Um, and then there were some layoffs. Um, kind of explain what happened. Were you guys as profitable or not as profitable as you thought? And how will you navigate the next Oh, we year? actually, well, we haven't had any widespread layoffs. The reality was um, we weren't hiring as many people. So we, there was one department recruiting where we didn't need as many recruiters because we've been pacing our hiring. But we have not had a widespread layoff since 2020. When we did one, we tried to work with compassion. And now we've been really stepping on the gas. I mean, we are expanding pretty aggressively. A lot of people want to travel, and we want to lean into that. But the economy up, being volatile, um, is it difficult to run a company like this? You know, the great thing about Airbnb is it's a pretty resilient model. I think yes. what the pandemic showed us is, like, we lost 80% of our business in eight weeks. As you remember, a lot of people were predicting this is the end of Airbnb. We thought Airbnb. your company was going down. Yeah. And, you know, there's something about staring in the abyss. You have a lot of clarity. And what we realize is people still love travel. They still love staying so at home. True. They still love Airbnb. And so we just, like, hunkered down. And we basically rebuilt the company from the ground up. And it's stronger than ever now. What are you most looking forward to as you sit here today? Your company. I'm just looking. You. So the thing I think I'm most looking forward to is what we can do in the next year or two. 
Ultimately, I think Airbnb is about more than staying in a home. I think it's about connecting people. Mm. It's about bringing people together through cultures all over the world. And I got to be honest, I think the world probably needs that more than ever now. Yeah, right. It yeah. seems like the more time we spend online, the less time we're spending offline, face to face in the real world. I think there's this really a lot of more rising loneliness, isolation in the world. And I think just if we can get more people offline in the physical world coming together, that would be amazing. And I think that's what Airbnb is. It's yeah. a great way to bring right. people together. Connection is key. Chocolate chip cookies next time. Yes, right. <laughs> yes, thank you, Brian Chesky. What's your dog's name? Uh, Sophie Supernova. Okay. Sophie Supernova. <laughs>